to listen to more ritual pastas, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Have you ever hated your partner so much that you want to get in your car and never come back? So much that you wish you would never met him. But no matter how much you despise your current partner, you can't bear the thought of being alone. Or have you failed to find somebody to love you, understand you, deserve you? I have the answer to your problems, but certain conditions need to be met. The stars must be aligned, and your desire needs to be strong and reek of desperation. If these conditions aren't met, then the ritual won't work. If they are, though, you're in luck. Wait for your partner to go to sleep. When they are soundly asleep, whisper three times. Yearning be mine. Yearning be mine. and go to sleep. If you do not have a partner, whisper what you would say if you had one, then go to sleep. When you wake up, your partner will be replaced by Yearning, a thin, hairless creature with bright blue eyes that bulge from his eye sockets. His skin looks and feels like old leather, full of thick, dark warts and ulcers that are constantly secreting a viscous, stinking substance. His lips are rough and withered, but they are repeatedly wetted by the drool which drips out of his wet mouth like a gentle stream. His fingers are long, thin, and covered in scabs. Do not run away from him, or rather it. It's easily hurt, and... Let's just say you don't want yearning to feel hurt. Besides, you went to all this trouble to summon it. If you stay, yearning will rise, smile, and in a shaky, high-pitched voice, declare, I love you. I'm yours forever. I can be whatever you want. I can be whoever you want. If you reject it, after it has declared its love for you, it will get angry, very angry. You don't want to make yearning angry. If you stay and accept its love, you will be rewarded. Yearning is a shape-shifting hermaphrodite. That means he can become anybody or anything you want. Do you want to be with a tall, handsome, Herculean man? Yearning can be that. Do you want to be with a young, busty, sexy model? Yearning can be that. Have you ever wanted to hook up with the one who got away? Sleep with your married best friend? Or maybe somebody who would have cost you your freedom, dignity, and life. Yearning can do that. You can also do whatever dark and twisted things you want to do to yearning. But there are two things you should never do to yearning. Don't ever leave it. And don't ever cheat on it. Yearning will feel lonely if you do so. You don't want yearning to feel lonely. Now, that doesn't mean that yearning won't let you live your life. It will let you go to work, spend time with your friends and family, and do whatever you need and want to do outside of your home. You see, yearning is bound to your home. All it wants is for you to give it the love and attention it craves. And is it so bad having yearning as a partner? Why go through all the trouble of finding somebody if they're going to reject you, use you, abuse you? Yeah, yearning is a hideous creature with pus and sharp teeth. But 
when the hideous creature turns into a soft, beautiful body with sparkling eyes that give you nights to savor, you'll soon realize that ignorance is bliss. Or is it? Do you want to have that thing's kid? No. Too bad. Events will take their course and yearning will give birth. If you're a woman, then I've got even worse news for you. If you've ever seen Eraserhead, there is a shriveled, smelly, slimy, misshapen baby covered in ulcers. This is what Yearning's baby will look like. At least you won't have to raise the thing. No, Yearning wants its offspring to spread. But you don't want to reject Yearning's baby either. Yearning will feel sad if you reject its baby. You don't want Yearning to be sad. All you need to do to show that you appreciate the fruit of your union with Yearning is kiss the baby longingly and gently rock it in your arms. If having that thing's kid won't deter you, maybe seeing Yearning in its true form once a month during a full moon will. This is perfectly understandable. Each of us want to be loved for who we really are. And during this full moon night, Yearning can do whatever dark and twisted things he wants with you. After all, Yearning loves you. You don't want Yearning to not feel loved.